lying on your back on your mat, just start gently pulling your knees into your chest. I had all intent of rolling this morning, but I didn't get to it. You can close that seam if you want. All right, you all pull, just rocking gently side to side. Focus on deep inhales, long exhales, pausing in the center and lengthen the right leg up high to the sky. And as you drop the left leg down on the mat. So the right leg comes up. Good, just gently pulling the back of your leg toward the back of your room as you flex through that right foot. And now grab a hold of that knee and just pull it down into that right armpit as you root down through this left hip and lengthen it right back up and pull it back down. Good. Continue this range of motion. You're just trying to loosen up through your knee joint and your hip. Two more. And last one, hold this one up. See if you can pull that leg back a little bit farther and now flex and point through your foot. Maybe roll out that ankle a little bit and now pull that right knee back down into your chest and over to your armpit and now over toward your right elbow. Feel this deep opening through that right inner thigh and now cross that knee over to the left, little gentle twist. Your right hip is going to lift, but you can go ahead and look towards the right side of your room and bring it right back to center. And just switch legs. Drop the right leg down and pull the left leg into your chest. And now lengthen all the way up. Do that several more times. Pull it down and lengthen up. So you're just switching your grip from over your knee to behind your knee. Two more times. Good. Last one. And now hold this one up, pulling that leg back, drop that knee down, pull the knee toward the left shoulder, and now a little bit deeper toward that left armpit. And now bring it back to center and roll over towards the right side, getting a twist as you root down through this left shoulder blade, but the left hip is going to come up a little bit. Good, back to center, and now just roll your body weight all the way up. So you're in a seated fold. Wrap behind your calf muscles and try to use those hands to lengthen through your spine and get a little bit deeper into the stretch. Trying to open up through your hamstrings as well as your lower back. Good, three more. Two more, and one. Turn on over and lift on up to down dog and just start pedaling out through your feet. Just walking it out. All right, we're gonna open up through our calves, our hamstring. Lift that left leg up high. And before you step it through, I just want you to pull your knee in and just lengthen up two more times and pull it in. One more. This time, step all the way through. Keep your hands down on your mat, fingertips or palms, whatever's more comfortable. And now see if you can sink that right hip down a little bit deeper. So you're holding the same formation, this, this 90 degree angle with your left leg. And all you're gonna do is drop the right knee and lift. See how stable you can stay in this left leg as you root down through this left heel. Two more times. One more time. And now you're gonna drop that right knee all the way down, untuck your right toes and lift your hands up on your left knee and push that left knee forward. And now pull those shoulders back. So you should feel a deep opening through your right hip flexor and it should channel into that lower back. Deep inhale through your nose, big exhale through your mouth. One more time, deep inhale. And as you exhale, lightly place those fingertips or palms again Tuck those right toes under, lift back up, and now come all the way up with those arms and hold this low lunge. Now when you soften the right knee, so you're coming out of crescent pose, softening through the right knee, you're, just, you're pulsing for eight, seven, really slow, six, five, feel this left hamstring and glute fire up, three more, two more, and one, Bring those hands back down and float that right leg all the way up into standing splits. Good. Just warming up these left leg, mus leg muscles. Step the right foot back. Step the left foot back and come back to down dog. Right leg lifts up high. And now you're gonna bring your right knee in and then right back up to three-legged dog two more times. 
Again, warming up that hip and knee joint. Lengthen all the way up. And this time you're going to step it through and pause. So now you're stabilizing through this right leg as you soften the left knee down and up. Try not to come up and out of this right hip. Feel that left knee getting nice and warm as it channels up through the upper part of your quad into your hip flexor. Two more. One more. And now drop that left knee down. Untuck those toes, place the hands, your hands on your right knee, pushing that knee forward and lengthening up, bringing your shoulders right over those hips, getting a deep stretch through your left hip flexor here. Good. One more inhale. And as you exhale, drop those hands down, tuck your toes again, lift on up, and now you're gonna bring your arms up overhead into this lunge. Now you're bringing it from a crescent lunge to an athletic lunge. So soften through that back knee, hold, little pulse, really slow. Warming up this right glute, your hamstrings starting to engage through that lower belly a little bit more. You have four more, three more, two more, and one pause. Bring those hands right back down. Set the right foot back. We're doing three vinyasa flows together. You have the option to drop to your knees. We're getting everything nice and warm. Come to high plank on your tippies. Drop down to chaturanga on the push up. Lift up dog. Optional second chaturanga. High plank, down dog. Two more. High plank. You can always drop to your knees. Chaturanga. Up dog. Chaturanga. High plank, down dog. Start to engage a little deeper through that belly. One more time. High plank, high on your tippy toes. Drop all the way down. Chaturanga. Up dog. Optional chaturanga. Lift back up, down dog. Come on your seat, lie on your back, on your back. <clears throat> okay, this is where I want you to grab your ball, your block, or even a weight. So you can bring that weight, ball, or block behind your head. Now I want you to hold on to the ball or whatever's securing you down, and now lift those legs up high. <clears throat> Flex through your feet and now push your legs forward so you feel that sacrum root down onto the mat a little deeper. You can keep a bend in your knees if this feels a little bit better, or you can keep your legs long. Lots of options here. All you're doing now is you're going to lower slowly the right leg and then you lift. Lower the left leg slowly. Exhale as you bring that foot back up. Continue this motion. Try not to let your lower back lift up. And as you're lowering one leg at a time, take these floating ribs and tuck them down and in, holding this contraction from your hips to your ribs. Keep pushing your lower back into the mat and continue to lift one leg really slowly at a time. Now I want you to hold both legs up. Lower down maybe another inch or two. If you need to put your hands behind your head, you can, okay? Otherwise, keep your arms long. Now you're just gonna take your right foot only. Lower and lift. Lower for two. We've got eight here. Down, three. Down, don't let your lower back lift. Down, this is five. You have three more. Two more. One more, keep that right leg up high. Let go of the weight or the block or the ball, hands behind your head and lift up high. And just pulse, pulse. Now try to channel that strength to your upper abdominal wall. Exhale, and then we go to the next leg. Five more, four more. Don't lose the contraction. Two more, one up and hold. Slowly lower that head back down. Maybe grab a hold of that block again, or you keep your hands behind your head. Now you're lowering the left leg only, and you lift. Left leg only, up two. That's three. Four. Four more. Three. Two more. And one, now hold. Hands behind your head. Lift up a little higher. Maybe you can float your legs down a little bit lower. And exhale as you crunch, crunch. Exhale, exhale, 
exhale. Keep shoving that lower back down. Keep it protected. Keep those floating ribs set down. Four more. Three more. Two more. And one hold. Bring everything together. Wrap your elbows around your knees. Lengthen those legs across the floor. Or you can lengthen your legs to the ceiling if it's too much on your back. Otherwise, in, lengthen. Bring it in and lengthen. You've got four. Good. Three. Lengthen. Last two. Last one. Drop your head. Grab your block or your ball. Position it between your knees. Squeeze your knees so you feel the engagement through your inner thighs. Hands can be down by your side, under your back, or behind your head. If you're behind your head, try to lift your head, neck, and shoulders off the mat. Now you're just going to lower your feet down and up. So this should be a little less stress on your back because your legs are staying bent the whole time as you lower both legs down and up together. Good. Lower down and lift. The slower you go, the more you benefit. Four more here. Three more. Two more. And one. Hold. Now we're just going to use our upper body. Keep your legs where they are. Keep squeezing the block between your knees. And now you're going to rotate those elbows up to tap your thighs and you lengthen all the way down. Lift up, tap. Lower all the way down. Keep going. Tap and lower. Tap and lower. So remember, it's a full range motion up and then you lengthen all the way back. But you're still pulling that, those abs down. See, root it down through your backside body. Good. Four more. Three more. Two. And one. Keep those elbows up and a little tap. 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 Bring your elbows. Tap those sides every repetition. Five. Four. Three. Two. Hold this one up. Bring your hands on your thighs. Drop your head. Pull your knees into your hands and push your hands into your knees. Keep squeezing the block. Squeeze the block. Four, three, two, and one. Move the block. Pull your knees into your chest for a brief pause. Okay, we're bringing it all the way down. So you're in star pose. And then you lift all the way up to boat. All the way down to star. All the way up to boat. You lengthen down. And then exhale and squeeze that abdominal wall together. So open everything out when you drop down to the mat and then squeeze it all together as you lift up. Good. All the way up, back to star pose. All the way up and lengthen down, working every muscle through that abdominal wall. Four more and lift. Three more and lift. Good. Two. Last one. Now hold it up. Place your hands behind you and lift your legs. Lengthen and pull. Lengthen and pull. Hands stay down. I want you to keep that lower back protected. Squeeze your knees, your inner thighs, and your ankles together. Lengthen, pull. Keep going. Five, four, three, two more, and one. Flip on over to a forearm plank. You're not in your forearm plank for long. You're only here so we can transition into our side plank. So your forearms are down, your legs are back behind you, and you're just holding a strong plank. You're here for only 10 more seconds. Keep squeezing those inner thighs and your ankles together. It's fine to keep your hips piped up just a hair, if that feels better on your back. But now I want you to take that right hand towards your left elbow and shift to a side plank. You can drop that right knee down if you need to. This is perfectly fine. Otherwise, you're up. Now you're going to take this left hand and you're going to wrap it all the way under the right hip and you open and you follow your gaze with your hand. Here we go. Rotate under, open all the way up. Rotate under and open two. You've got six more. Five more. Four. Exhale as you open. Keep going. Three. Two. Last one, and I want you to hold it up. Gaze up at this left hand and pulsate. Seven, six, five, four more, three, two, and hold. 
Bring this left forearm back down. Pause. Bring those ankles, knees, and inner thighs back together. Can you come up higher on your tiptoes? Push more strength down through those forearms as you try your best to drag those elbows towards your knees without physically moving your arms. Left hand towards your right elbow. Flip on over to the opposite side. Take this right hand, thread it all the way under, and open. Remember, you're following your hand with your gaze. That's three, four, four more. Squeeze to your glutes, squeeze to that waistband. Two more. Last one. Hold it up. Look at this right hand and pulse eight, seven, six. Remember, you can always drop that knee down. Four, three, two, hold. Drop that right forearm. Squeeze those inner thighs. This is the last forearm plank. You got it. Hold. Three more. Exhale, two more. Keep your forearms where they are. Drop your knees. Pull your heels into your glutes. Pull your elbows back as you drive your hips forward. Squeeze every muscle through that abdominal wall. Chin stays lifted. Don't look down. Neck in line with your spine. Start to feel more strength through your shoulders. Press a little deeper through those elbows this time. Three more. Preparing for push-ups on our knees. Two more. And then we're going to get into our first upper lower body set. Here we go. This is tricky. So for those of you who do a lot of yoga, this is going to be easy. But I want you to press through your hands to lift and then walk your hands in. So try not to roll up one at a time. Try it again. Come down. Don't push on one hand and then the other. Lift your elbows, stay balanced, and then lift all the way up and walk your hands in. Hands are right underneath your shoulders. You're staying on your knees for this first set. Slow, two down, pause, one, two up. Here we go. Down, two, pause, up, two. Down, two, pause, up, two. Two more like that. Down, two, pause, up, two. One more. Pause, single count, eight, seven, don't go too fast, six, five, use all that core strength, four, three, two, hold this one down, lengthen your legs, tuck your toes, float your legs, low chaturanga, three, two, one, lift a high plank and press the down dog. Pedal out your feet. All right, everybody, we're going to do a very, very short cardio round to get our heart rate up, and then we're doing a leg, arm, balance set, a lot of strength, but I want to spike our heart rate for one minute. So we're going to start on the left side of our mat. You're just going to bring it to speed skaters for 30 seconds. I want you to keep your chest up as you tap. If this is too much, on your knees, just bring it to push it to jumping jacks. 30 seconds, and then you're gonna hold 30 seconds in a low jump. One minute of spiking up our heart rate. We go in three, we go in two, we go in one, and you are on the clock. Let's go. Starting with those speed skaters, 30 seconds. Good. Try to stay low, keep that gaze ahead. Maybe you can bring it a little faster. Focus on that breath. Keep the inhale steady. Keep the exhale steady. Good. You're already 20 seconds down. 10 more seconds here, and then we fire up those legs into our little low jump squats. Four, three, two, one. Stay low. Chest up. Out, in, out, in. As you extend those legs out, can you get your booty a little lower? Come on, lower, lower, lower. Chest up. Breath is steady. We're going into strength. In 12 seconds, go a little faster. Push, push, push. Imagine you're squeezing a beach ball as you bring those legs back together. Three, two, one. Lift up. Have your weights close by, but you don't need your weights for this first set. 
Okay, I'm gonna face you. I'm gonna face the side so you can see my form in alignment. I want you to bring your right leg forward. Your left leg is back. And all you're doing is kissing the left knee down. A lot of balance today. A lot of stabilization and isolation. Abs stay engaged. Hands, you can use your hands for balance. You're floating up, squeezing into your glute. Right back down, stabilizing through the right leg. Here we go. Float up, extended lift into a low lunge. Use your arms. If you want to add weight, you can, but this is a long leg series where we're doing a lot of isolation and balance work. So we are going to be picking up our weight, getting into some isolated upper body after this first set. Good, that's 10. You have 10 more. Starting to feel this through your right glute and hamstring. And as you lift into this left glute and hammy, squeeze. Keep that left hip down as you come up. Four, three, good, two. Now you're gonna hold this one up. Hold it up, lengthen this left leg up high. If you need to hold on to something, grab a wall. Hold, whatever you need to do for balance, lift this left leg higher. Lift an inch, lift an inch. Up, 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 up. Up, squeeze that belly. You've got six, five, four, three, two. And now slowly, mindfully, step it back into your low lunge. Hold here. Now you're gonna pulse in a low lunge. Get ready to grab your weights. Last little pulse set with our legs. Chest is open, shoulders stay directly over your hips. Abs stay engaged. Breath is steady. Good, keep going. Eight, seven, six, we have biceps coming up. Three, two, one. Go ahead and grab your weight. You get a little teeny tiny break, and then you come right back to that right lunge. Come down. Okay. Your biceps, you start with the neutral grip, and you turn your palms up, back to neutral. Neutral, palms up, lower right back down, that's two. Squeeze, work those biceps. Stay low in those hips. So both legs are at 90 degrees. Pull that belly in, squeeze into your biceps. Woo. If this is ever too much, you can just focus on upper body if you want. Okay, you can definitely bring the left foot to meet the right. All the way up and down. Continue to focus on stabilizing through your lower body if you're still in the split squat stance, as you work deep into your biceps, try not to let your elbows push back behind your rib cage. So you're not swinging your arms. Four more. Good. Three more. We're coming back up to warrior three. And then we're going to row in two and one. Tap the left foot in. Tap it in and fold forward. Bring those arms down. And now you row. And again, if it's too much on this right leg, set the left foot down, focus on upper body only. And then when you're ready, you can float back to warrior three if you want. That's six, seven, eight. Get into those upper lats. 10, 11, 12. Step that left foot back where we started. Get nice and low, hinge forward. Now you're gonna lengthen this left leg a little bit. Elbows come up high, triceps, triceps. You are still on your right side. I told you it's a long set on this side. Push, a lot of isolation. Heart rate stays elevated. Keep going, you've got six more, five more, four, three, two, and one. Step the left foot in. Drop your weight. Before we go to the other side, I want you to come back down on your mat, lift those hips up, come to plank, pull your right knee in, step it back to dog, left knee in, back to dog. 
So you're just fleshing out this right side as you get into some deep core work again. Hold the knee in, dog, left knee, down dog, right knee. Good, three more, two more, one more. Hold down dog, widen your feet, come to high plank, three full push-ups. Stay off of your knees, here we go. Slowly down, two, three, up, two, three. Two more, down, two, three, up, two, three. One more, down, two, three, up, two, three, hold. And press the down dog. Inhale, exhale. Walk your hands and feet together. Grab your weights, we're going to the other side. Left foot forward, oh sorry, no weights. Sorry, 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 no weights. Left foot forward. Right leg is back. So again, you're getting your form. You drop that right knee down. You stabilize through your left leg. You can use your arms as you float. Whoa. And then you drop back down to your lunge. Lifted leg back to your lunge. So extend that right leg as you squeeze into your right glute and hamstring. As you stabilize through the left leg. You have to keep that lower belly, your core engaged the entire time. Yes, to tone your abs, but more importantly, to keep your lower back protected. Good, keep dropping and lift. Drop and lift, you're halfway. You have 10 more. Nine, really slow. Get into every muscle here. Kiss it down, seven. Six, breath is steady. Five, we're gonna hold it up in four. Lift, three, you know the drill here. Two more, you've done this on the other side. Hold it up, hold it up, and pulse. Pulse, so you're in a warrior three hold. You can hold onto a wall if you need to, but isolate your right glute and hamstring as you stabilize through this left leg. Four, three, two, hold. Now step it back, no weight still. Low pulse. Second set of pulses, and then we grab our weights for our upper body strength. Drop, drop, drop. Shoulders over your hips. Make sure you're not leaning forward, not yet. We're saving that for the last tricep set. Keep your abs engaged, keep those floating ribs tucked. Push through your left heel. Push your left knee to the left side of the room. One more, three more, two, hold, lengthen, step up just to grab your weight. Shake it out, shake it out quickly, take advantage of this. Coming back, left foot forward, right leg back. So remember, you're on railroad tracks here. Same thing, bicep curl and lengthen. Make sure you are not bringing those weights behind your rib cage as you extend down. Bicep curl. If the legs are too much, you lose them and you work biceps only. Neutral grip to open hand grip. Neutral to open. It's up to you. Woo, try to drop a little lower. Both legs are bent. Focus on that core. Stay strong through your biceps. Continue to stabilize through this left leg. Keep working a little bit harder. Five more. We're going up to warrior three. In three, in two, and one. Hold those weights close to your chest. Tap the right foot in. Float back to warrior three. Bring those hands down and row. Row. Remember if it's too much, you can always drop that right leg down. And then if it feels okay, extend it right back out. Long spine. Make sure you're not looking at your toes, but you're gazing about three feet ahead of that left foot. Five more, four more, three, squeeze into your lats, two, hold it up, step your right foot back, all the way down, and now you hinge forward. Remember, you can come out of this if you need to, otherwise, tricep extensions. And again, it's not about swinging your arms, squeeze deep into your triceps. Push, don't let up. Stay with me, even if you come out of the legs, keep those arms moving. 
six, five, four, three, two more, one more. Hold, step the right foot in, drop your weight, come back to down dog. All right, the second set, we're gonna flush those legs again. This time you lift your left leg, pull it in, step it back to plank, push up, plank, down dog. Right leg lifts, pull it in, extend it straight back, push up, plank, down dog. Left leg, now we're gonna pick up the pace just a hair. Pull it in, step it back to plank, push up. Good, down dog, right leg, pull it in, plank, push up, now hold high plank, hold high plank. Five seconds, hold. Bring the right hand in the center of your mat and open on up. Good, just stabilize. Bring it back, bring your awareness back to your lower belly. Look up at this left hand. Strong right arm. Strong right arm, lift a little higher. Three more, two more. Left hand down, switch sides. Open on up, stabilize, strong left arm. Maybe you can look up at the right hand. Squeeze through that left waist here. Come up a little higher. Five, four, three, two. Right hand down and hold. Last 10 seconds, high in your tippies. Pull all that weight into your upper body, into your core for four, three, two, and one. Lie on your back quickly. Okay, before we transition to our next upper lower body set, we're bringing it to a 30 seconds of fast bicycle, 30 seconds of a low plank two times through. Two minutes. Your bicycle is fast, stay, stabilize to your core, we're getting your heart rate up. Here we go, 30, you're on the clock. Stay lifted up off your head, neck, and shoulders. Keep going. Good job. 10 more seconds. Focus on those exhales, a little faster. Five, four, three, two, one. Flip over quickly. You can stay on your knees or not. 30 second low plank, hold. Squeeze that belly. Good job, everybody. Squeeze your inner thighs. Tighten up through your glutes a little bit more. You're halfway. Slow your breath down. Inhale deeply through your nose. Exhale slowly through your mouth. Two more of those. Good, we have one more round in three, in two, and one. Drop to your knees, lie on your back, hands behind your head. 30 seconds, bicycles. We're on our final minute, and then we do one more upper lower body set. A little faster, hang in there. Really get deep into your twist as you keep your heart rate up. Ooh. Halfway, 15 seconds. And you can point or flex your feet. It doesn't matter. So whatever feels better for you, it's totally fine. Five, four, three, two, and one. Flip over, forearm plank. All right, we're gonna bring it to a rainbow plank on this one. Drop right, center, left, center. 15 seconds like this. Drop, drop. Drop. Don't look down. Keep your gaze between your wrists. Five, four, three. We still have 15 seconds. Hold. Drop your knees. Tap and lift. Tap and lift. Get deep into your lower belly. Squeeze your glutes as you lift. 10 seconds. Keep going. Keep going. Ooh, five more. Four, three, two, and one. Child's pose. Lean back, good job. All right, let's roll up, perfect timing. Grab your weights, and we're coming into a squat. Water if you need it, water if you need it. Okay, everybody, grab those weights. Coming into a nice low squat. We're gonna get into some deep shoulder work. Make sure your knees, as you drop into that squat, stay right over your ankles, okay? So you're going to, this is, this is a lateral raise with our squat lift. So 
as you come up and out of your squat, arms stay at 90 degrees. You're not lengthening your arms too much. I want you to kind of go heavier if you have two sets of weights. And then you lower it right back down. Lateral raise and lower. Lift, lower. Don't let those knees cave in. Push them apart, and then as you lengthen up, you squeeze those inner thighs together. Lower, lift. Turn your thumbs down at the top of your range of motion. Lower, turn those thumbs down. Keep going. Up, good. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Four, three, two more. One more, now you're gonna hold. Hold those weights in close to your chest. Lift up off of your heels. You might need to narrow, narrow your stance and pulse for 12. Stay low, 10. No shoulders, we're going back to our shoulders in eight, in seven, in six, in five, in four, in three, in two, and one. Now hold, lower those heels right back down to the mat. Bring your arms up, stack your spine, roll your shoulders forward, and then open, roll forward, exhale up, keep going. I want you to think about your rear delt, and I want you to think about your lat. Your front delt, the front part of your shoulders, are already engaged. Open, stack that spine, pull the belly in. Five more, four, we're going back to a pulse in three, in two, and one, weights come back in, come high off your heels. Pulse eight, seven, narrow your stance if you need to. Five, four, three, two, hold. Drop lower, hold, heels are up high. Three more, two more. And now drop your heels back down. Bring those arms back up. Chest press, open, continuing to work our shoulders. Overhead press, pull down. Chest, open, overhead, down. Keep going, chest, open, overhead. Focus on your breath. Stay with me. Try to stay low in that squat, but if it's too much, you can always come out of it and just work up your body as always, okay? Keep going, press. You can do this without weights as well, everybody. You can definitely lose the weights. If you find yourself tensing through your neck, get rid of the weights. Pay attention to your alignment. Good. Four more. And press. Three more. And press. Keep going. Two. We have another pulse. One. Up. Now hold a little bit lower. Bring those weights back in. High up off your heels. Pulse again. Last set of pulses. Right, we're just going to do a narrow press to finish, and then we're going to lie on our back for that isolated inner thigh and leg work I was telling you about that we're going to get into. In four, in three, in two, drop those heels. Now it's a narrow press. You're not opening up to goal post arms. Keep it narrow. Press, press, a little bit faster, up, up. If you're using really heavy weights, you're not gonna be able to go fast. Press, press, press. So if you're using tens, or higher, even eight, you're gonna to have to slow it down, which is fine. Four, three, two, one, hold it. Drop your weight, lift your chest, and just isolate. Push your heels down into the mat. Push the balls of your feet down. Lower your hips another quarter inch for four. Slow your breath. Three, two, slowly come up. Come on your knees. Grab one light weight, one light weight, or your ball, or your block. Quick set of glute and hamstring. Put that weight behind your left knee. Lift that left knee, just hover it over the mat, and now lengthen it all the way up where your knee comes in the same plane as your hip. This isn't all the way up. You have to lift it all the way, and then you tap, lift. Short set, I promise. Down, up, down, up. Maximize your range of motion. Keep drawing that heel 
into your glute. Five more. Four more. Three. Two more. Now you're going to hold this one up. Now cross it over the opposite calf and back to center. Cross it over the opposite calf and lift. Keep going. Cross, lift, cross, lift. Keep going. Up, up. Deep into that left glute, hamstring, core stabilizes you. Pressing evenly, don't collapse into that right or left side of your upper body. Four more, three more, two more. Lift this left leg up a little higher and pulse, pulse, pulse. Four, five, six, seven, eight, almost there. Five more, five, four, three, two, hold. Push that left heel higher. Three more. Pull the belly in. Two more. One more. Exhale down. All right. Opposite side. I told you it was a short set. Put the weight as an option. You can also use your own body strength behind the right leg. Okay. Float the, hover the right leg. Make sure the left toes, the tops of your toes are down. Lift. Lift. So this is where you keep that alignment with your spine and not collapse into that left side. Lift. Stay really strong and stable through your shoulders as you press that right leg up, up. Keep going, five more. And then we do our crossover. Three more, two more. And now hold it up, cross it over the opposite calf and lift, cross, full range of motion. You gotta kick that heel up to the ceiling. Up, up, up. Don't let up. You can lose the weight at any time, but try to continue this range of motion. Three, two, hold this one up and now here's your pulse. 15, 14, pull the heel in. 12, 11, don't collapse into the, to one side. Nine, eight, Seven, belly in. Five, four, three, two, hold. Push that heel up to the sky. Even out your strength through your upper body and lower it down. Move the weight to the side, have it close by. Last set of inner thigh and glute work. Okay, come on your back on your mat. Oh, we're really tight on time, but we're gonna squeeze in two minutes and I'm gonna hold you an extra minute. Hope that's okay. Have your walk in between your thighs or your ball or your pillow. Weights on your hip flexors. Lift on up. Walk your toes and heels together. Lift up to bridge. So you're in bridge with your heels together. The block is between your knees or the ball or the pillow. Down, up, up. So as you have the weights on your hip flexors, you're lifting and lowering using your glute and hamstring strength but you're squeezing that ball as tight as you can or block between your knees. Keep whatever is there, tighten it up and do not release the contraction with your inner thighs. Lift, lift, lift. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, Hold it up. Now just squeeze those inner thighs together. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So now you're just shifting the isolation work to your glutes and hamstrings as you work those inner thighs. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. We're almost done. Big exhales, big inhales. Don't release the contraction. Your inner thighs should be burning like crazy. You've got 20, 19, 18. Keep going, last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, hold. Take the weights off of your hips, lower, lower one vertebrae at a time. Lift back up to bridge after you remove the ball, block for the ball, right leg is up. You're just holding and isolating. Push your weight through your left leg and hold. Lift a little higher, squeeze that lower belly in, your gaze is straight up to the ceiling. You can bring your arms up. Three. Push a little deeper through your left foot for two. And one, drop your right leg slowly, stay up and bridge. Left leg lifts. You're just isolating, unilateral isolation. Lift higher. Push your way through the right glute. Maybe your arms are up. 
for a little more core stability. Press and press that weight into the right foot for four. Higher three, two. Stay in bridge, lower the left leg. Squeeze your inner thighs, your ankles, your calves, and your knees together. Stay up. Squeeze everything in. This is the last 20 seconds. Push your body weight down through your feet evenly. Keep squeezing, zipping up your legs. Tighten up your lower abs. Isometric hold. 10 more seconds. Slow your breath. Squeeze a little tighter. You can do this for four. Get those inner thighs to touch. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Two. And slowly, mindfully lower one vertebrae at a time. Pull your knees into your chest. Rock side to side. Really good work. A lot of isolation with those leg lifts and extensions, the warrior three work, the balance work, coming up on our, off of our heels in our squats. Right leg drops on the floor, left knee draws in. So remember, I was telling you guys at the beginning of the class, if you can, join me for cardio for 45 minutes. You can use a bike, you can use a rower, you can use a treadmill, an elliptical, if you have any of that equipment at home, and if you don't, just bring the audio, just listen to me and go outside for a hike, a walk, or a run. And we'll start that class, roll on up, at 9.45 this morning. I will be doing it from a bike, but whatever cardio equipment you have at home, we're going to do a 10 minute warm up. We're going, to, actually it's six minutes, I lied. Six minute warm up, and we're going to do a solid 30, 32 minutes of high intensity interval work with endurance, stamina, fat burning work and then we'll do a five minute cool down. So 45 more minutes, I Exhale down, release through your hamstrings. So you have 15 minutes to grab a hard boiled egg or a glass of water or a muffin or whatever you like. If you need a snack, and then you can join me on any cardio equipment you have. Stay low, stay low. Teeny tiny bounces, loosen up those knees, those hips, lift those hips up high, pedal out your feet for three, for two, and one, slowly roll all the way up. Arms come up, sorry I kept you today. I'm, I got lost in our time. Monday morning, but we're done. One down, I hope you guys can join me. Let me